Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. This is Jenny and today I am going to be doing six Dollar Tree Halloween DIYs. So I hope you enjoy all these DIYs and maybe it'll give you some ideas how to decorate your house for this Halloween. So let's go ahead and get this started. Okay, for this first part, all you're gonna do is take a knife and you're gonna cut the top of your pumpkin. Now there's no right or wrong way to do this. You just pull it right off and there you go. Now I'm gonna take some black paint and a paintbrush. You're gonna need a couple of paper plates. You're gonna pour just a little bit of paint on your one of your paper plates. I'm using a glove so I don't get paint all over my hands. I stick my hand into the pumpkin and then I just start painting away. Now once I get the first coat on, I like to go back through it and have all the strokes going the exact same way as you can see the way I'm doing that. Now before you put your second coat on, you're gonna wanna um, completely let this dry. I go back through the grooves just so you can really see it is a pumpkin and it's not all blobby with a bunch of paint. Now it's time for our second coat. So I'm gonna go back through exactly what I did the first time around. I'm gonna cover everything make sure there's no orange showing and then I go back all the way around the pumpkin to make sure all the strokes are going the exact same way You can also do the lid if you plan on using the lid. I wasn't sure if I was gonna be using it, but I painted it just in case since I already had the paint out. Now that our pumpkins are dry, you're gonna take a toothpick and you're gonna start poking holes all the way around your pumpkin, as many as you want. Now, some of them, you can see me shaking my hand, I'm making the holes a little bit bigger than others. Make sure you do the top of the pumpkin and all the way around. Now, I'm gonna take some LED lights from the Dollar Tree. I picked the orange ones. They do take two AA batteries. I'm just gonna shove all the lights in there. And you can see how that lights up. How cute is that? Now I took another pumpkin, took the bottom off to put one of the strobe lights on. Now I'm gonna take an orange pumpkin with the holes as well and take the other purple lights from the Dollar Tree and stick those in there and so you have a different color. Now I'm going to take the witch's headband and you can cut the legs off if you want and place them inside the pumpkin or you can leave them on the headband and just keep it like that which is really cute. What I chose was to bend the headband and just shove it down into the pumpkin so it looks like the witch is stuck. Look how cute that is. Now I'm gonna take the bat ears and do the exact same thing. Either you can cut the wings off and glue them onto the pumpkin, or you can just put the headband right around, and there you go. I chose to keep it just like that. And to make it more fun, I'm gonna take some googly eyes from the Dollar Tree and just see what it looks like with the eyes. So now I'm gonna take the web basket from the Dollar Tree. They have three different colors, orange, black, and purple. I'm using the purple one. I'm gonna take some of the spider webbing from the Dollar Tree which is this right here. It comes with four spiders, so I'm just gonna tuck that right into the basket. 
and add my witch pumpkin. I'm also going to add some of the sparkly green spiders from the Dollar Tree and just place those around. And there you go. Now I'm going to take one of these from the Dollar Tree and add a little bit of that white webbing that I just got done using and take one of the sparkly spiders and place it right inside. I'm also going to take one of the sparkly clip bats and clip it right onto the side. And voila! Now it's time for our final DIY. I'm going to take one of these rocks from the Dollar Tree and some of the pipe cleaners as well from the Dollar Tree. And I'm going to be making my own spiders. I'm measuring to see how long I want the legs. I'm going to take some wire cutters and cut them. And then I'm going to take one of them that I just cut to measure up to get another set. Now, silly me, I did not count the legs, and I put eight legs on each side. It just makes it that much special. So, I'm just going to put them all in a bunch. I'm going to take some of the twine from the Dollar Tree, a pair of scissors to cut a little piece, and I'm going to tie all the legs together. Make sure it's even and right in the middle. Once it is, I make a double knot. And now I'm going to take my scissors and just cut the extra string off. Just making sure I have it the way I want it. Now I'm going to take another set of googly eyes. And now I'm going to glue everything together. I just put a small dab right there in the middle of the legs and take the rock and place it right in the middle. You can spread the legs out, you can bend them however you want, and this is when I realized I had too many legs. Oh well. Now I'm going to take the googly eyes and my glue gun and glue the eyes on. This will be a perfect DIY for kids to do. Now this is everything put together. Everything is from the Dollar Tree. I did not do a DIY of the other pumpkin, which is gray, white, and black. I just think it looks really, really cute. And like I said, this is kid friendly. They would have so much fun making these. And this is what it looks like when all the lights are off. Cute display. I sure hope you enjoyed this DIY and be sure you keep on watching because I'm doing a craft giveaway after this. I thank you all for watching, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye, guys. Keep smiling. Okay, since I did a craft, as you know, I do craft giveaways, so I have this package right here. Unfortunately, my kids are not home. We were running late this morning, so I am going to be drawing a lucky winner. So I'm going to stir this up. And not looking so I am just gonna dig in here and just pull out one name and Jenny uh, Les Lesinski I believe congratulations you are the winner for this craft giveaway if you want to be entered in any of my drawings I will link all that information down below so I thank you all for watching and I'll see you in my next video bye guys
keep smiling. <laughs>